Hi, I'm Jeremy Becker from BLCVikings.com, and I'm joined by head coach of the softball team, Dan Nessler. Dan, you guys actually started a couple weeks ago. You guys have had a couple games now. What have you kind of seen from the girls so far? Yeah, we played this last weekend. We played four games. We played McAllister, a doubleheader on Friday, and we played St. Olaf, a doubleheader on Saturday. Um, we went one and three. Um, some people say that's not so great, but you know, last year we played McAllister, got beat twice, nine to nothing and eight to nothing, and really we're not in the game. Um, this year we split with them. We beat them nine to three. We got beat seven to five. I think that's good progress. Um, St. Olaf has got a, an All-American pitcher, Julie Graff. She was an All-American as a freshman last year and uh, was the best pitcher in the MIAC. So that's tough duty, you know. And so uh, I thought we hung in there too. In both of those games, it was two to nothing, two to one through four or five innings until we made a couple mistakes and let them let them take control of the game. So uh, it's just to me, it's just great learning experience to play good competition. Yeah, and you guys uh, have a couple really talented veterans, but you guys also have a lot of uh, freshmen and new players. So talk a little bit about kind of what you've seen so far and then what you look to see from them um, heading into Arizona this weekend. Yeah, for sure. You know, we've got Anna Pippenhagen in the circle as a senior pitcher, and we're going to lean on her heavy. You know, we need her to do well. Um, but we have eight freshmen on the roster, and a lot of them are going to play. Um, they're talented. But again, they're freshmen. So, you know, we're going to make some mistakes. I get that. Um, but we had some kids have some really nice weekends. Um, Kaylee Moore hit 500 on the weekend, scored five runs, uh, had a couple doubles, stole a couple bases. She had a great weekend. Taylor Kotke hit 308, uh, played short all weekend, and, and did everything we asked. So we had a, a couple uh, do really, really well, and everybody else uh, hung in there. Um, you know, I'm looking for a lot from them kids, um, the young kids, because we get on to Arizona now, and five of the eight teams we play are in the top six of their region. We got a tough schedule down there. So uh, trying to come back uh, over 500 is going to be difficult, but we're going to try not to judge ourselves on wins, losses. We're going to try to win it, on, uh, judge ourselves on are we getting better every day. Yeah, talking about that tough competition you guys face, you guys got a really, really bulky schedule at the beginning of the year, and then when you're moving on into your conference, a lot of good conference teams too. What's kind of your expectations taking on some of the momentum that you guys had towards the end of the season last year and bringing that into this year? You know, I, I think it's the same philosophy that, that your coach Fletcher had uh, early in the season. You guys played a tough schedule, and I think it paid dividends at the end. We're the same way. You know, for us to be even considering talking about can we win – the UMAC conference tournament and go to a regional tournament in only our second year with only one recruiting class might be aggressive. I think these kids might have it in them if we continue to get better. If we get better every day, I think we can make a run at some things at the end, but we're going to take our lumps in the process. Well, we're looking for some exciting things from you guys and looking to see how you guys turn out. Good luck in Arizona and good luck on the rest of the year. Thanks. Appreciate it, Jeremy.